Today's Gotcha Life mini movie is The Sun and the Moon, and this story is by It's Lindy Gotcha, so I will have the original in the description down below, and let me know what other gotcha stories you'd like to see me react to next. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so light in here. Hmm. It looks like a sunny day. Uh, and I gotta go to school soon. Morning, Mom. Good morning, sweetie. So, what is my breakfast today? I made you an egg and bacon. Ooh. Yay, and that on a normal school day? Yeah, when I was your age, I only got bread. You're lucky with a mother like me. Yeah, duh. Hey, guys. Hi. So, what you talking about? Apparently, there will be a new student today. She's the same age as us, so she might join our class. So, it's a girl, huh? Oh, no, I don't know yet. I just think it's a girl. <laughs> Anyways, we'll try to friend him or her. Let's head to class. Hello, class. Today, a new student will join our class. You may come in now. Uh, it's a boy. My name is Julius. I moved here because of my father's work. I'm 16 years old, and I like to hang at the beach. I hope we can all be friends. You can sit at the back of the class, Julius. Uh, what's this pain? Are you two all right? What's this feeling? It has something to do with this girl. Yeah, I'm fine. What the heck just happened? Wow, girl, what happened back there? You and that newbie had like a shock moment at the same time. It almost looked like those movies when two soulmates meet each other. <laughs> Ugh, that's not even possible, weirdo. You and that boy look so confused. Yeah, for real. I don't know exactly what happened, but when he came closer to me, my head started hurting and my right eye. That's suspicious. That's weird. Hey, I got a question. What is it? Since we're in the same class, I was wondering if you could show me where history is. I can have trouble finding all the classes. Yeah, of course. We still got 15 minutes left, so what about we show you a little around the school? If you want to. Yes! Let's go! Uh, uh, bye! Uh, wow, are you two okay? What? Again? Why? What the? Your eyes! Uh, what did you do to me? Yeah, sure. Blame me. It's not like I know what's going on between us. Uh, the tour? Yeah, let's go. Follow me and please don't steal my eye color. Whatever happened. I didn't do anything. It's her fault. Or is she just like me? Oh my gosh. What is with that guy? He's creeping me out. And that's it. Luna? Uh, aw, man. You guys weren't even following me. I'm home for Father. Hey, Julius, how was your first day? I made a new friend. Plus, something strange happened. There was this girl, and whenever I came closer than one meter to her, we both felt dizzy and her left eye started to hurt. And later, it happened again, and we switched our right eye colors. Hmm, I'll try to do any research later. Do you know if she has any special powers, just like you? No, she doesn't show any signs of it. Plus, if she had powers, then I think she doesn't even try to find out if she has any powers. Like, maybe hang out with her or make her do something but i can't come closer than one meter to her just try julius's point of view my father found me while he was searching something to experiment on uh, uh, a child what is it doing here by himself i was just a baby when he found me don't worry i'll take care of you he raised me but then he noticed something on my hand hey julius can you turn around uh, sure uh, there was some kind of yellow mark on my hand hey buddy let's go in my lab for a moment luckily my father was a scientist so he could do research he discovered that i was a power holder and my element was the sun. Not a lot of people know about these power holders, so I had to hide my mark in case someone who knew wanted to use me somehow. The next day. Hey, what's up? Yo, Julius. You'll have anything to do today? No, not really. Let's hang out. Sorry, but I'll pass. I got homework to do. Oh, come on, girl. Stop lying. We literally finished all our homework yesterday. Besides, I don't want to be the only girl. So please, come. Yeah, okay, sure. But you better stay away from me, blondie. I don't know what your problem is. Got it, blueberry. Uh, you shot it, sunhead. Does she know? Your head is so bright, it gives me a headache. Thanks for the compliment. This is the place. It's really peaceful here. Yeah, I know, right? Even though it's spring, it gives me summer vibes. And that's why I like to come here. Ugh. <sighs> 
You don't like the place? I don't know. It's kind of hot here. Plus, I'm not really a big fan of the sun. Why is that? She's more of a night person, and her skin burns really fast when she's in the sun. Can't be. She really is the same. A power holder. Wait, I can't know for sure. What if she just hates the sun, but that's it? I just have to see her powers, if she has them. But how am I gonna make her use them? That's it. She may have the same mark on her hand that every power holder has. But I don't see anything. Maybe she's hiding it. I'm home. Hello. Have you found anything suspicious about the girl? Well, she said she doesn't like the sun very much. And she burns her skin fast when it's hot. Not a weird reaction again. No, she told me to stay away from her so I couldn't get close. Remember the mark I have on my hand? The one that every power holder has? Yeah, what about it? If she has powers, then she might have the mark too. <clears throat> I don't know how to come close to her. She obviously doesn't want to hang out with me alone, and she doesn't trust me. Maybe try to get in detention with her. Ugh, are you kidding? If I do that, she'll hate me even more. I'm trying to earn her trust. Hear me out. This is the only possible option. Please, make you and her go into detention, and maybe spill water over her hand. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Thanks, bud. I'll be going to my lab now. All right. The next day... Psst. What do you want? I dropped my pencil. Can you give it to me? Ugh. What? No! Oh, come on. Shush, I'm trying to listen. Oh, please, don't be annoying. You're the only annoying guy here. Like to share, Luna? Uh, no, miss. Don't interrupt my lesson and pay attention. I, I will, miss. Stop lying. Detention for you, Miss Luna. But he started. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention, but she started talking. That's it. Detention for both of you. Well, thanks a lot. Huh. That's strange. Normally, there would be a teacher here. Now's the best timing. Uh, hey, anyways, so, um, <laughs> don't come any closer. Uh, you. Uh. Ah, why did you do that? Her mark. She has one just like me. Hey, looks like we changed our left eye colors again. That mark on your hand. Did you have it when you were younger? Oh, this? I think it's just a birthmark or whatever. Then why do you hide it? Why are you so interested in this? First you spill water over me on purpose and now this? Will you just answer my question? I hide it because I don't like it. And I also hide it because of people like you who think it's some kind of weird mark or something. Don't come near me. You know what happens if we come close. I think it's okay now because we switch eye colors for real this time. <laughs> See this mark? It's the same as mine, but in yellow. Are you some kind of lost brother of mine or something? No, you're the same as me. You've got special abilities, just like me. I'm not sure, but I'm guessing your element is the moon. My element is the sun, so that's probably why we have strange reactions when we get together. Every power holder has this mark on their hands, but they're with their element color. My father is a scientist. He found out about this when my mark started appearing. Only a few people know about these powers, so it's smart that you hide your mark. Will you come with me to my home and let you meet my father? Yeah, I can do that. Thanks. Well, anyways, since there isn't any teacher here, we should probably go hide our marks and get out of here. I gotta say, the excuse we said to Hiroto and Jane was pretty suspicious. Yeah, especially with their eyes and gloves on. But we can't tell anyone about this. Not even your closest friends or family. Roger that! There we are. Whoa, you're rich! Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got a smart father. Dad, I'm home! This is the girl I told you about. She's got a mark on her hands just like me. Can I see? It looks like you two also switched your eye colors on your left eye. Does it hurt? No, only when it happened. What about you? No? Hmm, did you know you were a power holder? No, I always thought this was like a birthmark or something, but I hide it because it was so big and weird. Would you mind if I take this to my lab? I won't do anything crazy to you, I just want to scan you. Scan? Don't worry, he did the same thing to me when I was younger. Okay then. You can sit on the table for a second. I gotta grab something. I understand you're confused and don't know me or my father at all, but you know, since my father found out about these powers, he started to do more research on it. Who knows how many power holes are on Earth, or how many people have powers and don't even know about it. In the internet, there's some rumors about other power holders. Maybe in the future, everyone has some kind of power. I get what you're saying. This is one big mystery. Back! 
Looks like I was right. Your element is the moon. You can create, shape, and manipulate all aspects of a moon. That includes gravity. What? It's a pretty dangerous power, I'd say. What about Julius? What can he do? He can create, shape, and manipulate all aspects of the sun, which means he can also create heat flames. Whoa! Can you show me? Yeah, but let's take this to the backyard. <laughs> Whoa! But that doesn't burn your skin? Nope, my body is made to handle the highest temperatures. So basically you can walk into fire? <laughs> yep, without feeling anything. Impressive, huh? I still haven't mastered my other powers yet. I'm still working on it. Right now, let's try to let you use your power. But how? I have no idea how to use it. That's why we'll start with controlling gravity. I think that if you touch someone on a specific way, they become zero gravity. But that's just to guess. I have no idea how your power exactly works. I think you two have one of the most powerful powers. I bet there are more elements like fire, ice, water. You two may have more powers within your element. I see. So it'll take a lot of time to use my full power. Exactly. Although, I don't think you really need your power. I mean, it's fun to have it, but it's also really dangerous. Plus, it's out of the ordinary. I still want to master it. So, that whole month, I tried to master zero gravity. Gravity! Huh? It's zero gravity! You did it! Now try to release it. Uh, um, maybe this? Hey, did you release it? <laughs> it's still weird you two have each other's eye colors. I tried to do more research, but I couldn't find anything. I think it's because you two have comparable powers. It almost looks like you two were made for each other. I think you two will make a great team. <laughs> yeah, but it said we can't use our powers that much. Oh yeah, I got some bad news. I made a decision, and I won't allow you two to use your powers. What? Why not? Here, read the news. Eight-year-old boy who can control animals. Yesterday night, two people found this boy in the woods all alone talking to animals. They took him to a hospital and found out he can control animals. Right now, scientists are testing on him. Will this be the beginning of a new society? <gasps> you see, people start to find out. If you guys make one wrong move with your powers or show your marks, it's over. What if they take you two to experiment on you? I can't let that happen. Focus on a normal life. Forget about your powers. Trust me, it will be the best. It's not that you two really need it. <sighs> I'm sorry, Julius. <sighs> I promised I did my best to reveal this to the world. But now that I think about it, it will only get worse if they find out there are powers. After that, we tried our best to forget about our powers. We finished our school, and me and Julius started dating. Aha! I told you they were soulmates! They exist! <sighs> Years later, we got married and had to twins. They were named Kimmy and Sam. But at the age of five, we discovered they were also power holders. Kimmy's element was love. She could bring people together and made them fall in love. And Sam had the same power as his father Julius, the sun. We taught them to hide their powers because it was still too dangerous and out of the ordinary. Or could this be the beginning of a new society? A new world? A world full of power holders? So that was Sun and Moon, a Gotcha Life mini movie by it's Lindy Gotcha, so I will have the original in the description down below. Let me know what other Gotcha stories you'd like to see me react to next, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, and if you're new, subscribe to become a mermaid or merman. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.